I welcome all of you in fourth video, chapter number five, factorial designs, and the book name is Design of Experiments by Montgomery. In this video, I will discuss about the formulas that are used to find sum of squares, and these sum of squares are then used to find mean squares, mean sum of squares, and we will uh, formulate an ANOVA table that will tell us about the significance or insignificance of these factors. So from the heading the question arises about the fixed effect case so what's the fixed effect case the basic question is okay uh, the heading is this one fixed effect case so we will say that the fixed effect case is that one in which the researcher has fixed the number of levels for a factor for example if a researcher say, uh, researcher say that i will take four levels for my first factor and three levels for my second factor so he has fixed the lab number of levels for both of the factors he has taken into the study so when the levels are fixed we say that is a fixed effect model and if you say now what's the random effect model then so in the random effect let's suppose if an engineer goes to the industry workshop floor and he randomly chooses the sample whatever the levels of the machine setting upon which the product has been made so he randomly select the sample he haven't fixed the number of uh, he haven't fixed the setting of the uh, sample of the factor you know that upon which the product has been produced so that's the random effect when we haven't fixed the levels for a factor and we check the random sampling so now i come towards the first formula that we will use so that is the calculation of y i dot dot here it has been represented so uh, i came towards that one y i dot dot so it is uh, said that uh, i it started from summation of j is equal to 1 to b and k is equal to 1 from the n and i have to take y i j k's so what it's meant for it is meant that we have to uh, it's the effect of uh, first row and i have to take the sum uh, of uh, of the whole first row but uh, i'm i'm going to explain you with the help of few values let's suppose i say that uh, at level number one for the factor a level number one for the factor b i took uh, I, my responses are four comma five then at level one of factor a level two of factor b my uh, results are you can say ten comma nine then i take three values only at third replication at one three i got uh, four comma one okay so how i will calculate why i dot dot i take the sum of these uh these three cells so 4 plus 5 this will be equal to 9 10 plus 9 this is equal to 19 and 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 so what i will do i will write the sum here for this row i will write 9 uh, plus 19 it's equal to 28 28 plus uh, 5 it is equal to 33 so i will write here 33 same is the case i will take the sum of all the values of the replication that are performed at a com uh, at the combination of the setting for the second row and then i will uh, take the sum of all these values and i will write the sum here so this is uh, all about why i dot dot and then next uh, on the next page we will calculate the next term y uh, dot j dot j so so this is uh, the page upon uh, slide number 14 of your uh, lecture notes in this slide it is saying that we have now we have to calculate y j dot j so y j dot j y dot j dot so j means column we will have to uh, take all the sum of all the values for a column let's suppose again i'm assuming that it's uh, i perform two replications one three the values of the response two nine of the response and uh, you can say four and one of the response so how will i will uh, what i will write here i will just uh, sum four plus uh, three plus one four nine plus two eleven four plus one five so i will write uh, four plus 11 15 and i will write here 20 same is the case we will do the same for the second column uh, the sum of all these replications sum of all these replication and these replications i will take the sum of these values and then write here so this is all about y dot j dot and this is the column effect or this values will give us the effect of the factor b uh, next come the values y i j dot and it will give us the value for the sum of square subtotals uh, we will move towards the slide number 15 
next slide so basically it's about the interaction effect of a and b so now what we will do uh, this is uh, this is the value which we are uh, going to calculate y i i j dot so uh, let me write few values again uh, one two two three uh, three two and uh, one six two three four one i am writing the small numbers because it will help us uh, to uh, to take uh, the submission easily four five and one four more than enough so what will how we will calculate ij dot you will take the sum of all these replications it means that it will be three then it become five five here also it will become five Oh, all of the values are five why should i write such numbers one seven one six uh, seven and then eleven nine and this is also five so what i will do i will take the summation of all these values of the sum of the replication at a specific combinations so three plus five uh, this three plus this five then this five then this seven five 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 9 11 so sum of all the uh, replications at a specific combination this will give us y i dot j and then the remaining one is y triple dot it means the sum of all the individual values so these are the three values uh, that have up on three replications at factor one at, at the combination of uh, factor a level one factor b level one so I will add all of these individual values from the start till the end and it will give us y triple dot means sum of all the values. So this will help us in order to calculate the uh, sum of squares. Now I came in here that how uh, what's the formula for sum of the square of the total. So here sum of square of total will be equal to sum of square of factor A, sum of squares for factor B, sum of square for in the interaction AB and sum of square of the error E. The degrees of freedom associated with the total are the total will be calculated by A is the number of levels of factor A, B number of levels for factor B, and the number of replications that have been performed at each treatment minus one. In short, whatever the number of total number of observations you have, just subtract one from them, you will get sum of square of the total. Sum of square of the A is equal to A minus one. In short, how many number of levels you have for a specific factor just subtract one from them factor b the same the number of levels for a factor just subtract one from them you got degree of freedom for the factor b multiply the uh, the degree of freedom of factor a and factor v you will get sum of square for a b and the rest one is sum of square of the error so if the formula is a b n minus one uh, how we will calculate it just uh, keep in your mind that when you will uh, when you have assess some uh, degree, degree of freedom for the sum of square of the total and you will subtract the degree of freedom of ssa ssb and ab from them it's very quite easy in the questions i will explain you in the detail while when we are solving the question you can easily calculate the sum of square of the error in your mind without using any calculator or by hand calculations so these are the degrees of freedom now we come towards the ANOVA table in an order uh, in the ANOVA table for the factorial design there will be an addition uh, addition of what in the previous degree uh, in the previous ANOVA tables you have studied about effect about only one factor and the sum of square of that factor and then uh, degree of freedom of that one and um, the mean sum of square will be uh, obtained from uh, by dividing the sum of square by its respective degree of freedom and uh, the same we will uh, repeat the process for the factor b treatment we will calculate sum of square degree of freedom the formulas has been discussed in the previous slide when we will divide the sum of square of the b with its respective degree of freedom we got mean square of the b the interaction time a b has been calculated uh, this will be explained in the next slide because we will calculate the sum of square of the a b by using uh, sum of square of the subtotals i will explain uh, this concept by uh, by the formulas that has been mentioned in the next slide so same is the case we will uh, calculate the degree of mean sum of square uh, by how the sum of square a b will be divided by its respective degree of freedom 
Now, uh, how we'll calculate the f dot and why we use f distribution there? So the first thing is that we will calculate uh, the mean square error. Okay, this is the mean square error, and when we will divide a respective mean square for a respective factor uh, by the mean square error, we will get f not value. F not is basically f distribution value, and this value is obtained when we divide two square terms, two terms that have the square. So look at the value. This is called, uh, we call it uh, sum of square. This is sum of square. SS means so it's a squared value, and again uh, SS it's also uh, sum of square. So this is these are basically two square terms, and mean square. These are also square terms. So when we'll uh, do the uh, when we'll uh, do the ratio of two terms that are already squared, we always get the f distribution value. So again, how we will uh, find out that what's the whether this factor is effective or not means whether it is significant or not. So we will uh, compare this f not value with the uh, with the value of uh, f distribution at a respective degrees of freedom. So uh, we will discuss it again uh, when I was ever uh, I will solve the problem. So same is the case uh, by dividing mean square of, of the factor B by mean square of the error. I got F not value for the factor B to check its effectiveness. Uh, effectiveness. I have to uh, compare this value uh, with the F distribution value, and so the value uh, of of the F distribution table can be obtained as f of alpha the alpha is a significance level mostly 0.5 in the cases then we will take the numerator degrees of freedom so the degree of freedom associated with the factor b are b minus 1 and in the denominator term we have mean square of the error so the degrees of freedom for the error term is a minus 1 multiplied b minus 1 i will write here a minus 1 multiplied by b minus 1 so this uh, will use as the comparative value so we will say that if f not value is greater than this f distribution value so uh, we will reject our null hypothesis so that's basically the concept that are uh, coming in the next videos anyhow so this was another an over table which you have to be compute uh, in your exams as well as these uh, Tables can be easily computed using uh, Minitab, SPSS, SAS, and other softwares, pa software packages uh, in a second. So it was just about to clear your concepts, how these value values are calculated, and what are the mathematical uh, formulas that are used in the uh, software packages. Now uh, I will let you know that what are the sum of square. These are the formulas that are associated with the uh, sum of square of total, sum of square of a, sum of square of b. Uh, you have uh, used these formulas earlier, uh, so I think it will be quite obvious to you. Uh, y dot dot dot. It's it's the sum of all of the values. Okay. I've explained about y i j k y i dot dot y dot j dot so here the problem comes that is the new thing you will have to calculate sum of uh, square for the subtotals so it will be a one by n n is the number of uh, replications means i have told you that replications are uh, performing the experiment again at the same settings okay y i dot j, i j dot values explained this value is also explained so you will get the sum of square for the subtotals from this formula and when the sum of square of a sum of square of b will be subtracted from sum of square of subtotals we got ssab and this ssab term will be used to find the interaction effect because the ssab will be divided by its respective degrees of freedom and then we will get mean square of the ab this mean square ab will be divided by mean square of the error and we will check by using the f distribution that whether our interaction is significant or not when we have sum of square of the total sum of square ab sum of square a sum of square b by using this formula we can calculate sum of square of the error and it's from the foot day one that we will always we always calculate sum of square of the error by subtracting uh, other sum of squares from the sum of square total. So this is all about an over table. And then in the next 
video i will explain the battery example it's a practical example so uh, based upon the previous four videos we will solve this example uh, thanks a lot for watching this lengthy video if you have any questions you can do comments and please like my videos subscribe my channel and my whatsapp number email address has been provided if you have any issue please contact me freely i'm available anytime bye bye thanks for watching this video